All right, the White House is without one of its high-profile and controversial communication officials this morning. Reality star turned White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman abruptly left her post. Last night, President Donald Trump tweeted, Thank you, Omarosa, for your service. I wish you continued success. Major Garrett has been reporting her story. All right, Major, what a story. What do we know about why she was dismissed? Well, this was put in place by Chief of Staff John Kelly. John Kelly makes all staffing decisions here at the White House. And though Omarosa had a big title and a big paycheck associated with that title, her duties were hard to define, even for those who worked closely with her. And many sources have told us that Omarosa sort of indulged in the amenities and the conveniences of the White House that aggravated the Chief of Staff, John Kelly, as well as those who worked around her. And we are told Kelly informed Omarosa earlier this week that her time at the White House was over. She could stay until January 20th and would be allowed to say that she resigned. That's the official White House position. She resigned to pursue other opportunities, but her time here was done. Omarosa tried to renegotiate. Kelly rejected that. Sources tell us she then appealed to the president's daughter, Ivanka, who took no action. One White House official denies Ivanka was involved in any of this. And then Omarosa tried a different tack. She went into the residence. That tripped alarms there. Then Kelly ordered her escorted off the property. Now, the Secret Service denies its agents were involved in that maneuver, but the service did deactivate Omarosa's White House pass. All of this comes under the general heading of Chief of Staff John Kelly imposing discipline, eliminating leakers, or eliminating those who create unnecessary distractions within the West Wing, and creating a much more tightly focused operation here on the president's agenda and the president's political future. So now, Omarosa joins a rather lengthy list of somewhat controversial and highly public officials now out of this White House. Steve Bannon, the former chief strategist, Sebastian Gorka, who worked at the National Security Council, and John, who can forget, short-lived communications director, Anthony the Mooch Scaramucci. It's been an amazing group. You could fit them all on a bus. Thanks so much, Major. <laughs>